Hello and welcome to TTV News, some latest event in the province. So now came into detail. Ladies and gentlemen, on June 27, Indian Robins, the Ministries of Agriculture and Rural Development, organized the campaign Sustainable Developments of the Kazaver Industry until 2030, Vision to 2050, coached by Mr. Hoàng Trung, Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mr. Trung Văn Chính, Vice Chairman of the People's Committee of Indian Robins. At the conference, representatives of provinces with large cassava growing areas, relevant institutes, industries, and associations say about the favorable and difficult conditions in operations in their units, obstacles in breeding cassava resistance to mosaic disease, processing and consumption of cassava and cassava products. Speaking at the conference conclusion, Deputy Minister Hoàng Trung stated that to effectively implement the project, relevant agencies and localities need to develop mechanisms and policies to develop the cassava industry, planning for stable cassava raw material areas, assign the Department of Crop Production to immediately develop a communication plan to change thinking and recognize that cassava contributes to the economy, communicate content and solutions to develop the cassava industry, recite our reviewing and guiding localities on development and investment policies. In the cassava industry, it is recommended that the plant rotation department coordinates with relevant units to study and correct the process to suit reality, ensuring effective prevention of cassava lip mosaic disease. Encourage businesses to soon apply circular processing technology, taking advantage of own by products in cassava processing to increase economic efficiency and protect the environment. Coordinate and support cassava industry enterprises to overcome difficulties in the market and blending of growing areas. Ladies and gentlemen, evaluating the results of implementing the social economic tasks in the first six months of 2024 at the regular meeting in June of 2024, the Chairman of People's Committee of the Nan Province, Wing Thanh Ngoc, commented. The GRTP progress of the Nan's performance in the first six months of the year was quite good, higher than the average, but still low compared to the plan. And the Chairman of the People's Committee of the Nan Province said that, if the GRDB in the last six months of the year does not reach the higher than the first six months of the year, the province will not meet the economic growth target set by the resolution. Analyzing the general situation, the Provincial People's Committee determined that the core is due to the limited ability of the economy recovering and requiring a longer period of time. And the province breakthrough factors are in investment and investment preparation stage, so there has not been strong growth. And therefore, the chairman of the People's Committee of the Land Province requested each local sector to continue to review on evaluating depth the targets and tasks of their sectors and localities within six months. And the quick and low achievements criteria to determine the subjective and objective courses proposed the specific solutions to overcome the limitations of each target to promote a higher achievement in the last six months of the year. Along with that is the enhancement of responsibility and determination to lead and direct the government and agencies in carrying out us to try to achieve and set the target set for 2024. And ladies and gentlemen, Tenant Pilots has just held a preliminary conference to reveal the work of ensuring the traffic order and safety in the province in the first six months of 2024. In the first six months of the year, the provincial police deployed and seriously implemented the instruction of the Ministry of Public Security on ensuring the traffic order and safety, directing the traffic police force to be on duty 100% in the following days on the third holidays and the working days through the night through the third if coordinating forces to channelize and regulate the traffic and ensuring the safety for the people to enjoy the spring festival, celebrate the third if, and travel smoothly and safely. In the first six months of the year, there were 233 traffic accidents in the province, killing 130 people and injuring for 151 people. Compared to the same period in 2023, the number of incidents and injuries increased, but the number of deaths decreased. The main causes of accidents are not paying attention, changing direction in traveling incorrectly, and going on the wrong side of the road also. 
speaking at the conclusion of the conference, Colonel Trang Văn Luận told the director of provincial police requested that from now until the end of the year, the traffic police force will continue to coordinate well with the media agencies and other agencies, departments, branches, and organizations in the province, strengthening propaganda, dissemination, and education of laws on traffic order and safety, strengthening the handling of violations through the traffic surveillance camera system, regularly patrol, control, and handle violations of traffic order and safety, contributing to ensuring the traffic order and safety in the private Songso. And on the morning of June 28th at Samak International Bodegates, the Provincial Standing Committee of 515 organized to welcome the officers and soldiers of the teams K-70 and K-71 to complete the task of searching and gathering the remains of murders in the phase two, the rice season of 2023 and 2024 in Cambodia to return back to hometown. Attending the event, there were Colonel Le Chi Yum, Deputy Director of Logistics of the Military Command Region 7, and Colonel Do Than Viet, Deputy Political Commissioner of the Nen Provincial Military Command, Lieutenant Colonel Kung Bung Thuong, Deputy Commander, Tabong Kumun Cambodia Military Subregion, and representatives of provincial departments and branches and the sectors attended the event. After 120 days from March 1st of 2024 to June 28th of 2024, the two teams of K-17 K-71 search and collected the remains of 172 murders. Colonel Do Thanh Viet, on behalf of the Steering Committee of 515 of the Nen Province, presented the gifts to the team K-17 and K-71 and the military subdivision of the Bong Khmun Province, encouraging the morale of officers and soldiers who met the efforts to search and gather the soldiers' murders remains, phase number two in the rice season of 2023 and 2024. And ladies and gentlemen, currently the farmers in Tenen Province are entering the cassava harvest seasons of the winter spring probably 2023 and 2024. And one good thing is that in this year's harvest, raw materials purchasing prices increase, ranging from 3,200 Vietnam Tong to 4,000 Vietnam Tong per kilogram. And after reducing expenses, the farmers still have a profit of 40 to 50 million Vietnam Tong per hectare. According to statistics that from the Department of Agriculture and Development of the Nen Province in the first six months of 2024, the whole province has sold more than 50,000 training hectares of cassava. Of these, factories are processed more than 2 million tons of raw cassava and produce nearly 507,000 tons of cassava flour, and currently the whole province has 65 with large processing factories with a total annual capacity of more than 4 million tons of the cubic meters, and among them, there are 10 enterprises processing starch after the cassava stage, modify flour, malt, and fructose. In the coming time, then we will continue to maintain and develop cassava growing area from about 55,000 to 65,000 hectares per year, improving the productivity and aim to control the lip mosaic disease with the new high yield varieties. At the same time, continue to innovate processing technology, invest in chain development, and diversify deeply processed products after the starch processing. Utilizing processing byproducts, improving the value of the wheat starch production chain in the province. Continue with other information, ladies and gentlemen. In the first six months, the industrial production index in the province increased by 13.5%, of which the processing and manufacturing industry increased by 13.8%. The production and distributions of electricity, gas, hot water, steam, and air conditioner increased by 8%. Water supply sector, waste and wastewater management, and treatment activities increased by 10%. Mining industry decreased by 13%. Mostly, industrial products mainly increase output, of which some products had high increases such as flour on kinds of clothes coolant clinker and commercial electricity. The Provincial Business Committee has approved the investment policy of two projects of 500 kV in one transformer station and connection lines, the 220 kV, 500 kV in one. Phước Đông substation line is implemented by the National Power Transmission Corporation. 
As of June 1, 2024, the electricity industry has provided nearly 2,662 million kilowatt per hour of electricity, ensuring enough electricity to serve production and daily life. And in the first six months of 2024, Thailand continues to be an attractive destination, attracting visitors, in which the tourist areas and attractions have welcomed more than 3.4 million visitors, with a total tourism revenue estimated reaching for 1,845 billion Vietnam dong, an increase of more than 34% over the same period in 2023. And to attract tourists in recent times, relics, tourist attraction and tourist accommodation establishments in the province have actively renovated their facilities and services, enhancing their products and services, new tourism service products also, improving the quality of products and services, and better serve the needs of the people, especially the tourists. A tourist coming to Thailand not only focus on holidays but also spread throughout the months of the year. In particular, the province has implemented a task of tourism development in 2004 with a series of cultural tourism events, festival and cooperation programs linking tourism development with the Southeast Province, such as Badang Mountain Spring Festival in 2024 with the film Flavors of Thailand, program Bun Phuc with Thailand One Route to Destinations, and Farm trip and young group with the film One Route Three Destinations. The programs have created conditions for tourism businesses to introduce tourism products, connect rules and attractions between localities also. And ladies and gentlemen, the government of Church Jesus announced a conclusion of Deputy Prime Minister Trang Hong Ha at a working session with the relevant ministries and legacies and associates on handling difficulties and obstacles for a side project of the key traffic in the southern region. Accordingly, in some localities, material sources are not yet proactive and decisive, leading to no plan to supply road and bank materials for projects that lack resources, and some places are still confused with the direction and administration. And to complete the inter-regional transport rules on schedule and with the quality, the Deputy Prime Minister requested the City Party Committees, Provincial Party Committees, and the People's Committee of Provinces and Cities in that region to continue to fully determine their responsibility, a political proactive in ensuring the supply of broad embankment materials for the projects, ministries and localities must come up with a clear solutions and completely resolve the entities and obstacles to supply construction materials to serve road embankment for the key traffic projects in the southern region. And ladies and gentlemen, on June 29th of 2024, the candidates completed the combination of natural science, social science, and foreign language exams in the national radiation exam to end the 2024 high school radiation exam. And during the two exam days in 19 location exams, took place safely, seriously, and accounting for the regulations. On the same days, candidates arrived early in the same room. No candidate was late or at the wrong exam location like in previous years. And this year, the exam continues to be held in the province, but on the same days, there are quite a few parents who always accompany the candidates and their children from the start to the end of the exam. Before entering the exam room, the parents carefully advise the candidates and their children to stabilize their psychology before entering the exam room. I feel a little bit worried when you take the exam. The children felt like they took the exam before, and I told her a lot about how much experience I had for her, and told her to remember to bring to registration card, as it were, and when I took her to the exam, I wanted her to graduate from this exam. And after going through the foreign language exam this afternoon, Tenen has completed the organization of the 2024 High School Graduation Exam. And this year is the final graduation exam of the 26th education program. The reading comprehension questions are a bit more difficult than in previous year, and this year reading comprehension section is about art, but sentence number four, in my opinion, is about the spirit of solidarity, and in my opinion, Wing Fadim's work country is an easy work to analyze. This year's exam structure is similar to last year's exam and not very difficult, 
but not very easy. After two days of testing, according to the evaluation of candidates in all subjects, the test on had difficult questions to classify the students. According to a quick report from the Department of Education and Training, after two days of testing on the 24 high school graduation exam sites, no candidates violated the regulations and percentage of candidates participating in the exam on which over 99%. The audience the peak season for a welcoming international visitor usually lasts from September of previous year to April of the following years. Up to this point, it can be said that Vietnam tourism has in turn the lost season. So how to still attract international visitors? What are the target markets? The tourism industry has just passed nearly two months after low season for international visitors. Destinations do not have as many international tourist clubs as in previous months, but Chinese tourists dominate. Even though it was my first time coming to Vietnam, it was like coming home, very familiar because the culture had many similarities. Vietnam tourism is growing more and more. I see more and more Chinese people coming to Vietnam to travel. Before the pandemic, this key market accounted for one third of the total number of foreign visitors to Vietnam. The fact that Chinese tourists have returned to the top position in the international tourist market is showing good signs with the expectation of this market recovering this year. Chinese tourists compared to tourists from European and American countries have increased very much. Many Chinese tourists have returned. This is a very good sign. Thus, even though the peak season of attracting international tourists is over, Vietnam still attracts visitors from Southeast Asian markets, China, Korea, America, etc. However, what those working in the tourism industry are always concerned about is the problem is that we have to renew the products. We cannot always welcome visitors to their own attractions. The fact that tourism products are not truly new is the reason why few tourists return to Vietnam. Now we have Indian customers, Southeast Asian customers, Thailand is also a hard time like us. Very luxury customers, we have to create a little more diverse products. We have to understand customers to create highlights to attract customers we need to learn Thailand. With the recent growth rate of international visitors to Vietnam, it is likely that our country's tourism industry will complete the target of welcoming 18 million visitors this year, equivalent to a record increase before the COVID-19 epidemic 2019, compared to the 2024 tourism target of some regional countries such as Thailand and Malaysia. This number is still very modest. Vietnam tourism still has much to do to achieve its goal of becoming the region's leading destination for attracting international visitors. And ladies and gentlemen, smart agriculture or high-tech agriculture are the goals that the agricultural industry is working towards because to improve Vietnamese agriculture, it must start with the human resources. However, nearly 50% of the total agricultural human resources do not meet the requirements. The training according to the market needs is an urgent requirement of our country's agriculture production practices. Processing waste and byproducts in livestock and fur production is an inevitable trend of high-tech agriculture and circular agriculture. And this problem of human resources of modern agriculture can find solutions from training institutions. And it is brand powerless for cattle made from fruit peels such as pineapple peel, passion fruit peel, and mangosteen peel. And it is the result of scientific research by a group of students from the Faculty of Animal Husbandry, Academy of Agriculture. The children took advantage of this cut by products from fruit processing factories and fruit juice restaurants to make the nutrition brand pellets for cows. This brand pellets will supplement nutrition for cows in addition. There are two active ingredients that will reduce the methane emissions by affecting bacteria and thereby protecting the environment. And two partners from Korea and Japan have taken samples and analyzed the chemical components to see if they can meet the nutritional needs of the livestock market in their country. And they rated it very highly and completely can be produced on an industrial scale.
When you have been trained in a school in scientific research methods and have the experience scientific ideas like this, you can develop, and in the future, they also can make a good contribution to the businesses and localities also. And then, from these scientific research topics, we will continue to let them develop into products that can be commercialized and develop in practice also. And the training highly qualify human resources for agricultural and rural development is an urgent requirement, especially in the context of moving towards modern types of agriculture and smart agriculture. And therefore, the supply and demand of human resources need to meet to discuss mechanisms and policies connecting educational institutions and labor employee in businesses and find solutions to meet the demand for highly qualified agricultural human resources in this era. That's all for today, TTV News. Thank you for being with us, and goodbye for now.